Hi everyone, it's me, Eden from Lemonerdy. Today I am super excited to be releasing my newest game. It took me about two and a half months to make. It's probably been three since I started it, but I finished it a couple weeks ago. So like all, all the time that it took me to work on it, work on it, it's been about two and a half months. It took me that long because there is a lot packed into this game. It's really fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really excited to share it with you and see what you guys think. So what kind of game did I make, you may be asking? Well, I combined two of my interests, which are books and entrepreneurship, to make my bookstore game. So in this game, you manage your own bookstore from the ground up. You start with no stock, then you order books from a book distributor, you order books online, and then you eventually have an online store, you have a website, you can mail things out, you can receive books, you can open your little boxes and serve customers. So there's a lot that you can do, but before I give you the grand tour of the game, let me give some shout outs to some of my loyal followers on Scratch. These people have been commenting some really nice things and just expressing their fandom and it's, it's, so, it's so cute. <laughs> like, thank you guys for, you're always brightening my day. And even if I don't mention your name, you know that I'm thinking of you. So if you're watching this video and you know you've commented something really nice, I am thinking of you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> the shout outs I'm doing today are for Lulu Best Friend, Champ Girl One, Galaxy Gallery, Diva Snow, Unicorn Rainbow 319, and Adelaide 2010. So now I know you guys are itching to see this tour, so let's get started. So here we are in the game. As you can see, it's not shared right now because this game is going to premiere when this video premieres. Not before, exactly when this video premieres. I will be waiting until the moment to post it. So as you can see in the notes and credits, I have an update section for my upcoming updates. My most recent addition was hiring staff. So that's like the most recent update I've done. And then there's four others that you get to vote for in the comments for which one you want to see next. And another cool thing about this is that all of the artwork, except for a couple things, was done myself. I'm not exactly the best artist, but I thought that I wanted this game to be super original and I wanted it to all be from me, or at least most of it. So all these things like the box, the phone, the mailbox, the computer, I drew all those things myself and the only things I didn't draw were the characters from the Scratch library, which some of them I actually did modify to make new characters so there's more variation. And then I think the logo on the front of this magazine, I did not draw. But I wanted to show you some things that I'm proud of that I made in this project. So one of the things that I'm proud of that I mentioned before is modifying the characters. So this is the average customer that will come in and ask for books. So I have a lot of different sayings that they can say to ask for a book. So I added these all to a list and then it would choose a random item from one of these lists to say and then determine which book that they want and you can give them either the right or wrong book. And when they come in, it switches to a random costume from one to 25 and there are 25 of these. This, for example, is one of the characters that was already in the thing, but this is one that I created myself this one I kind of modeled to look after my look like my older brother. Um, that one's an original. Well, that's from the Sprite Library. That's from the Sprite Library. I made this one myself. I made this one. This one I also made. Um, I made this orange one. And I made what else did I make? I made this one. This one's supposed to look like my other brother. This one's another one that I made. This one was inspired by the, this is a while ago, but I think Barbie had like first made a man bun Barbie. And I was like, you know what? Let's give one of these a man bun. <laughs> and I, I also have a bald one. This one has a hat on. And this one, I, mod, I took the Afro from this one because I wanted to make one look kind of like me. So I made another character called Ellie, which is a person that you can hire. And I gave them like little yellow barrettes and a yellow shirt. 
So that's supposed to look kind of like me. You can hire this person to have them sell books for you. So that's one of my recent updates. And then another thing that I'm proud of is that, let me see, I think it's in the mailbox. In your online orders, you can see the name, the kind of book that they ordered and the quantity. So I had to come up with a bunch of different names. So let me scroll all the way down. I have a list of names in here that I got from like a random name generator. The first couple I actually made myself. Um, one of them I put in there, Alexander Hamilton, because I love the Hamilton musical. I used to listen to it on repeat all the time. And then I think some on there I put, I asked my dad what names that I should put. And he was holding, I think he was holding a Dixie cup. So he said, <laughs> so he said you could name one of them Dixie. So I named one of them Dixie. And then the rest of these are like a bunch of random names. I think there's like 38 of them. There's a lot of them in there. So there's a lot of names that I put in there and then there's also another thing I'm really proud of is these boxes so when you order a box of books it comes in it has a little, little doorbell sound like the mailman just dropped it off and the box the box's size changes based on how many you ordered so there's different boxes for each different genre and the box like for mysteries there's a mystery quantity variable. So if you ordered like 10 mystery books, the size would be 100 because it's 10 times 10. And then if you ordered one, then it would just be 10. So the box would be smaller if you ordered less and bigger if you ordered more. Now that you guys have seen a little bit of the inside of the game, let me give you some tips for how to succeed in the game. So in the game, you have to order by phone some books. Now the books that you can order by phone are more expensive, but they give you more money. So it's better to order those books that are by phone. And you have to enter the same number every single time that you can see in your phone book. But if you don't want to type it out, I would suggest typing out the number and then selecting it and copying it. So every time you want to call, you can just paste the number and then you can call the bookstore. Also, when you're playing, make sure that you turn that volume up because there's actually a voice tutorial with my voice telling you how to play the game. Another tip that I have is if somebody comes in and asks you if you can hire them, say yes. It will give you so much money, like a lot of money. Also, if your phone rings, definitely answer it because there's a reporter on the end and they will give you a lot of money for a sample of your books and then write an article about you in the newspaper. If you guys want to see some special updates in the game, make sure that you comment on the game for which updates you want from the list in the notes and comments section. But if it's not in the list, then you can also comment and say, can you add this thing? Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Scratch and supporting me everywhere. I want to give a big shout out to Miss Chandriette, who I actually named the reporter in the game after because she is a huge supporter of mine. She always is supporting me on Facebook. She bought some of my merch and she's just like a super duper supportive lemon nerd. So I named the character after her. Huge shout out to you if you're watching this video and thank you so much. Thank all of you for watching and i will see you guys soon make sure that you like and subscribe bye